Hello from Rancho Fortuito on the Baja California Peninsula. Hope you're having a good day and hanging in there with everything that's going on in the world. My name's Ben. This is Rebecca. We are Outliers Overland. When the coronavirus uh, started exploding, taking off, however you want to call it, we were traveling the peninsula here in our 4x4 expedition vehicle, hitting remote beaches and off the grid locations. But now it's time to be responsible and shelter in place. So we're making the most of things. This is day five of our shelter in place show, March 29th, 2020. And if you've been following along, don't think you missed day four. We took a day off. And we'd also like to, um, refer you over to our website, outliersoverland.com, full of all kinds of learning, resources, and engagement with us. We're also offering a special, during this period of time, on our flagship course, How to Become Location Independent. Make sure you head over to our website and check it out. In today's episode, Ben starts to lose it. Let's do this, honey! Woo! And Rebecca gets bossy. He's going to do whatever I tell him. We've also got another Overlander report for you today, this time from Australia. We'll hear from Rebecca of the Instagram page, Slight Adrift. And we're out of food, so it means a trip to town for groceries. Are you ready? I hope so. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm ready. It kind of has a feel of like doing a supply run on the Walking, Walking Dead. dead. <laughs> uh, but we are being very strategic, uh, but now it's time for a supply run to town. We're out of chocolate. Just kidding. We're out of a lot of other things, but <laughs> chocolate is on the list. <laughs> Let's do this! It's getting real, folks! And I'm being way overly dramatic. But you gotta have fun in times like these. Okay, I'm done now. I like the sound though. Could I kill you? So all joking aside, being very serious for a moment, we are taking all the precautions we possibly can, wearing gloves while we go into town, limiting um, the number of stops we're gonna make, and probably the biggest thing, and hopefully it doesn't backfire on us, is that it's nine o'clock in the morning on Sunday, March 29th. We are hoping that by going on a Sunday morning, we'll be exposed to fewer people. Of course, in a country that practices a Christian religion, that might backfire. Things might be closed, but we're hoping to at least be able to do grocery store run with this. Here it comes. <laughs> this is not my style of music, just Come for the on. record. Let's make the most of things. <laughs> Bang that head. Ready? Here it comes. There you go. Here's how it's done. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I'm getting dizzy. I'm an old man. Got to admit, after being in one place for a week and not really being able to like go and do things, we're both feeling pretty cabin feverish. Um, so it feels really good to get out of the house. House. <laughs> Go for a little drive, and we decided to come down to the beach, get some of those negative ions, have some good positive vibes, and <sighs> that that we're not getting plenty of fresh air at home, but it's just different air. We are being uh, rather private about our precise location here on the Baja California Peninsula. But our intentions are not to disrespect you guys, but to more respect the privacy of the campground and the other guests in this sensitive time. Yeah, don't read too much into it. It's just times like these. Well, it looks like we accomplished what we wanted to. There's hardly anybody out driving or walking on the streets. So hopefully we have little exposure while we're out grocery shopping. <laughs> speed bump uh, there are some of the restaurants open and it smells so good 
I do miss eating out here in Baja, but oh, yeah, it's best if we eat in. One of the strategies we are going to utilize while we are in town today, we did this last time as well, but only one of us will touch anything, any public surface outside of the truck. That's going to be Ben. Um, we both have gloves to wear, but he's going to pick everything up. He's going to do whatever I tell him. He's going to open the doors for me. <laughs> he's going to buy anything I say I want. <laughs> so you point at it and I have to do it. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe this will induce a little bit of chivalry in our household today. It's a matter of like dotting the I's and crossing the T's. So we have two sets of keys that we carry because a lot of times it sucks to turn off the engine to get into the camper. But we are going to make sure each of us has a set of keys. And I actually bought this when we went home to Alaska this past summer. But it's like called the club from like the 1990s. I just thought, well... Crime was rampant in Anchorage uh, for the past few years that once we got home, I wanted the truck to be safe, but I'm using it down here as well, just for safety's sake, I guess. Added security. These are just standard gloves, not sterile by any means, but the objective is not to touch your face, and I guarantee I'm not touching my face with these. <laughs> this is definitely the more stocked and larger of the stores in town. And I saw a thing for shrimp, but, well, this would work in the Instant Pot, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. That's like good stuff. It's a couple meals. Chop, but no shrimp. Life's too short not to have uh, chorizo and cheese. And we need some lunch meat. Here's something you don't see in the States all the time, but eggs don't necessarily need refrigeration. Purple? Mm -hmm. Deformed cucumbers. Garlic can't hurt in times like these. This cantaloupe looks amazing. Honestly, this isn't really that much fun. It is a rare form of torture not to touch anything. And I feel like I'm really useless. And it's taking us 10 times longer because I can't help. It's uh, 2690 pesos per little carton of coffee creamer. Not our first choice in brands. Shelf stable though. So uh, in camp, we're just kind of asking if anybody needs anything when we leave. And there was a request, a request for dried cranberries. Yo quiero uno, e uno, e uno. The cereal selection is a little mm -hmm. slim. Cornflakes are good. Mm -hmm. We are running low on some things like freezer bags, but these aren't freezer, they're just storage. Close enough. Almost mm -hmm. lost the beer <laughs> and the vino. So that little trip, about $130 and we stocked up on some expensive items like meats and whatnot, but I'm feeling good. Now for the challenge of getting it all put away in the truck. Without contaminating ourselves. Yeah, yeah. good luck. That's the challenge right there. All this could be for not, I don't know anymore. Just doing the best we can guys. May I get some of that uh, mustard hand sanitizer? Thank you. I gotta be honest, stuff like this just, you know that it's to some degree, it feels like an exercise in futility and how much good is it really even doing? I think not touching things while you're out and about is great. As far as like uncontaminating things when you get into the rig or you bring your groceries home, then it's just a point of frustration, but Honestly, that was pretty stressful. So, ready to go home. And I don't think that it helped that we didn't eat before we came to town, but. Well, we need to free up room in the fridge and eat some leftovers for lunch. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what it's like up north right now, but none of the employees in that store had gloves or masks on. Uh, none of the patrons had gloves or masks on, and it was probably about a quarter to noon when we left, and the town was starting to come to life, so I'm not sure how much social distancing is even going on. But it was stressful, and it will feel kind of nice just to get back to the security of our little camp.
we've got another Overlander report for you to watch. This one comes from Australia. Here is Rebecca with Slight Adrift. We are in Ulladulla, which is in New South Wales, Australia at the moment. Um, at the moment, the state is on lockdown, so we can't leave the state. So lucky our work is also in New South Wales, which we're allowed to go to next week because it is so isolated. So we're very lucky that we can still work. Um, the only places that are open are supermarkets and the odd um, essential business. So um, we've been trying to support the, the local businesses um, by getting the odd takeaway coffee and we got takeaway last night from our favorite Italian place. Um, but pretty much we've been staying indoors. So this is where we are um, bunkering down while the virus is on. Well, while the, we're in the campground. Um, as you can see, it's empty. Um, they have, are only allowing um, workers and those who travel permanently to stay, so no one on holiday. Um, so Timon's out riding his motorbike. Um, I don't know if that's allowed, but he's got to do something to stay sane. Um, and we've been surfing. Um, it's pretty isolated down here, so we can get to the beach. The beach is just down, down there, pretty safely. Um, been doing some yoga. Um, yesterday pretty much um, filled the freezer full of um, food so we've stocked up the freezer. We've got a really big big freezer um, stocked it up with meals for the for the next couple of weeks. We're, um, we actually would have had to stock up anyway. Look at our pantry. Um, we would have had to stock up anyway because we um, work away from home so we're working next couple of weeks in Kosciuszko National Park um, yeah so we will we'll be isolated um, anyway um, yeah hopefully hopefully by the time we come out we won't have very good internet while we're in there we have to drive up to the top of a mountain to get internet hopefully by the time we get out this whole thing will have calmed down a little bit but um, we're thinking of all of those people who aren't as lucky as we are to have this little home that can move. Um, we've been talking to our families um, over, over the phone and FaceTime and, and all sorts, just trying to stay in touch. Um, but yeah, we're one of the lucky ones and we, we love this little home. Um, we, we're, we escape it when we can, but um, we've been very, very, very careful. I hope everyone is doing okay. over really quickly. Um, if work is cancelled we've um, gone to Bunnings and got a heap of um, paint so we can repaint the in inside of Moog so that it looks really nice um, and just touch up a few little things and we've got a little bit of tidying up work to do, um, a few little odd jobs um, but that's what we're doing. Hope everyone's good. Take care. Bye. All right, we are all settled back in here at camp. The groceries are put away. I've even scrubbed the bathroom and swept the floors since we got back. So we should be comfortable and cozy here now for a bit again. Um, that swimming pool is calling my name. Can you hear it? I can hear it. But before we go, I wanted to close this out. Tell you guys, we hope this video finds each of you happy, healthy, and well. Thanks for joining us today. And if you'd like to see what we're up to tomorrow, hit that subscribe button. You can also check out our website, www.outliersoverland.com. We've got a lot of great resources and information for you to check out over there while you have some downtime. Before we go, I do, since it's grocery store day, wanna say thank you to everybody that's keeping food in our grocery stores. From the truckers who get it there to the people who stock it and the folks that are there when you check out. We would not be getting by without you right now, so thank you for being there. All right, you guys have a fantastic day, and we'll see you tomorrow.